Thank you guys for tuning in to Rayleigh's Small Engines. We got a club car here. This is ours. This is old Tow Mater. We tow everything. He even has an easy go roof on a club car. The square tube up on top, we put rakes and shovels and stuff. Man, this thing tows everything. It's all wrecked up, beat up. It's electric, 48 volt. We tow trailers, limbs, trees, lawnmowers. We tow anything with it. And it still goes. You can even see the ground down through the doggone fender. But that's okay. It's even got a stereo in that fancy. Guys, the problem we have is on this left wheel. What it's doing is uh, the bottom down here is scraping on the rim. And we've got some worn out bushings in here we're going to replace. So let's get it jacked up, pull the tire off, and let's get her done. Got to get her fixed. Old tow made her. Y'all stay tuned. All right, we got old tow made her jacked up. Let's take a look and see what's going on here. Let's grab this wheel. Hard to see there, huh? Hold on. Okay, let's see if this will work better. The bushings in the leaf spring there are shot. So, let's get this wheel off, see if we can get it fixed. I might take all this apart to get this off. Well, what the heck? Let me go grab some more tools. I'll be back. You guys bear with me. First time I ever taken one of these apart before. So y'all just have to bear with me as we go along here. But I think we'll win in the end. Let's see. All right, that was 18 nut and 17 to hold the top. Now that's out of the way. Let's see if we can pop the shock mount loose. I mean the upper control arm. Pop that bolt out shop mount. My bet is it should come apart. There it is. You can see the bushings. I think those are worn out. And I don't have the exact bushings for this. So let me go see if I can find a lawnmower part that'll fix it. I'll be right back. Okay, so what we did, we save everything. My wife walks down and she starts digging in our boxes and we found some spacers that we're going to make work. Uh, this will do us until they look like this. And then this piece would go in here and then this fits in there. But these are for the other part. They look like this though. So what we're going to do is we found a couple spacers that the bolt will go through and we're just going to make this work and i'm just going to tap these bad boys together with a hammer 
like that. Tap this in here, maybe. May have to go grind that. I'll grind on that a little bit on the outside and make that fit, but well, let's see if we can take this apart. This is what these other bushings are for. This one, this one, and then this little uh, wavy ring. Those I did order. Because that's what I thought was bad. I was wrong. You know, I ain't never made a mistake like that and ordered the wrong part, heavy. I have... That bad boy was on there. Let's see if we can get this pulled apart. I forgot to shut that door so y'all can hear the air compressor now. I usually keep it shut where it's not quite so loud. I put the nut on there to protect those threads a little bit. These bushings don't might be too bad to replace. Okay, let's remember, there's the wavy washer, one on the lower side, because this goes there, okay? So the wavy washer goes on first. Let me go clean this up a little bit, and uh, I'll get right back with you, and we'll knock those bushings out. Okay, got them washed off and we got them in the back. I hope that fan isn't too noisy in the background. We're going to see if we can go through and knock these bushings out and take this punch and see if these are going to cooperate. Maybe. Maybe not. folks here we go that's what I'm talking about be as easy everybody be doing it right instead of having us do this not a bad job though guys it's not that difficult Let's see if I get the new ones in. A lot of times I'm doing stuff like this, I'll stick them in the freezer, but these will probably go in just fine. If they don't, I'm going to go stick them in the freezer. Got her in. Let's do the other one. And then I'll put this. In. I'm gonna move the camera. We we'll get the other one knocked in. I'll be right back. Okay. I went back. Put this in the grinder. Ooh, that thing's still hot. Grind it down. Let's see if it'll actually go in the spring. Sometimes you just gotta make stuff, folks. Lucky my wife found those bushings, huh? So, first thing was the wavy washer, wasn't that right? Clean some of the dirt off of here, guys. I'm chipping away concrete, folks. 
new bushings. Let me go knock this out and see if I can buff that down a little bit. Be right back. Okay, much better. Let's finish putting it together now. Spins nice and smooth. What we gotta do, this goes on like this and we want this on angle to the back, okay? So, and these need to be straight with each other. You know, because this and this is straight. So we need this straight. All right. Let's see how bad I can mess this up, y'all. Beauty is, if you get it crooked, I can always loosen it up and do it again. like a little persuasion with it sitting on the jack and no jack stand. Let me go get a jack stand. Okay, a jack stand for safety. I know, I know, I should have already had that under there. So, let's see if I can get lucky and get this bolt back in. Brand new golf cart. What do y'all think? I think this is the right socket. Yep. Tomato's almost back in business, folks. Well, y'all like this video? I know we do a lot of things. Click that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button. Subscribe button. Can't even say it right, can I? Click that bell. I'm sweating. Right. Crawl 
chrome hub cap, dirty chrome hub cap. Her mater is back to life, folks. She is ready to ride. That's what I'm talking about. Come back to see us, guys. Give us a thumbs up. Maybe I'll get to see Toe Mater in a future video.